Hello friends, it's Tommy, your YouTube house husband. Today, I'm gonna talk about the difference between my life as a corporate slave versus a house husband. Let's begin. Number one, what's rewarding in the job? It's very different now. Back in corporate life, I find satisfaction in completing challenging tasks. That moment of triumph when I manage to complete a very difficult challenge, it makes everything so worth doing. On top of that, every job well done will contribute to my performance review. That means I'll get higher increment and may even be considered for promotion at the end of the year. That's the ideal case, but realistically, I'll just be assigned with more things to do. It's also really nice when I get to meet and work with very remarkable people in the industry or form lifelong friends with people at work beyond the workplace. I had a very mentoring manager for a while, which still impacted me up to this day. I still remember what he said to me, Tommy, you're not paid to work, you're paid to think, which I try to live up to each day that I go to work. <laughs> that was until I feel that what I think doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> okay, back to the topic. Basically, in the corporate life, it boils down to how much you like your job for the salary that you're receiving, the promised progression, and the growth opportunities that are available for you. As a house husband, my job is a lot more basic, mostly cooking and cleaning chores. You know, I used to think that these chores were below me. I felt that they were a waste of my time. But in reality, I was just looking at those jobs the wrong way. Looking back, when I cook well and keep the house clean, my wife tends to be happier. And when she's happy, I also feel very happy. Even more so knowing that she's happy because of me. One time, I was so tired after cleaning all the toilets in the house, my wife came to me and said, Dear, thanks for keeping the house so clean. Suddenly, I wasn't so tired anymore. That day, I went ahead to also mop and sweep the living room. Similarly, cooking can be very tedious. I have to plan the meals, I have to go to the grocery shop, buy all the veggies and meats, cut them up, chop them up, cook them up, and then, after eating, I have to wash. <sighs> Some days, I vow to never cook again. But when I serve the food that I cook for my wife, when she takes a bite and she said, the food is nice, I'll go, ah. I'll get so shy until I will giggle <laughs> like a kid who just got his favorite ice cream. Then, before you know it, the next day, I was cooking again. It really hits different when you are the one cooking compared to if you just buy very nice food for your loved ones. Well, it brought us to the old adage, Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> but reality is often more complex, especially when circumstances change and you have to pick up an additional job scope. In this case, corporate life and house husband life actually is very similar, except you don't really have an internal transfer. Actually, maybe you can, but you need to go through a lot of procedures. My team's job scope was purely day-to-day -day operations and it was torturously boring. I knew I would go crazy if nothing changes. So I tried to write scripts to automate the boring tasks. But I failed terribly. Writing scripts wasn't really something that comes naturally to me and I was so frustrated, I felt like I was no good. Thankfully, my colleague back then was very supportive. She saw the value in what I was trying to do and believed that I could do it. So, I gave it another shot and BAM! Not only did I manage to get rid of most of the boring tasks, I also made our job more exciting because now we're not just dealing with day-to-day -day operations. Back to house husband life. One time, my wife ate a slice of butter cake mm. and she went, Wow, dear, this butter cake is so nice. And that was the day that I started my scoop expansion into baking. Just nice, that was the week that she would finish her exam period for her master's program. I went to get a recipe, I bought the ingredients, and I went to work. It's 40 minutes. How could this be done? As you can see, I failed terribly. Instead of a butter cake, I created a butter brick. My cake didn't rise much and the granulated flour resulted in pockets of bland flavour. That night, we almost had a very big fight because she kept asking me how I baked the cake. I felt like she was pinpointing all my mistakes, but she was actually trying to help me spot my improvement points so that I can succeed the next time I do it. 
instead of giving my wife a nice surprise, now she had to eat my PT cake. So I just told her that I was very frustrated that I felt like a failure because I couldn't bake a proper butter cake. The thought of failing, putting in the time and effort just to be disappointed by the results, so undesirable. But if I've never failed, maybe I've never even tried. To realize my butter cake for my wife, I'm gonna give another shot at butter cake. wide enough. It's looking good. This is so tiny. Is it gonna be? Oh no, it blew up! Actually, I don't know. Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? It actually smells good and I can see the browning. The crust is forming. Moment of truth. It looks really good. I hope it's good. We'll let it cool, then cut it and serve it to my wife. Of course, the cake must come with some tea. Smells like butter cake. <gasps> it's spongy. Smell it, smell it. Well, much better than the first time. <laughs> very edible, very good. Okay. I, I don't mind buying this. Hey, money. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. Can I try? <laughs> no. Mmm. Yeah! Success! Mm. Hey, is the camera on? <laughs> ah, it's not. So yeah, I'm very glad that I gave it another shot. By the way, subscribe to the channel if you want to support my house husband YouTuber journey. To my current subscribers, thank you so much for the support so far. We are at 1000 plus subs. I hope that you guys are enjoying this journey as much as I am. Back when I was about to quit my corporate job, I was so excited at the prospect of limitless freedom. But now that I'm here, this freedom actually comes at a great cost. Back in corporate, I had paid time off, which is amazing because I could go on vacation while still drawing my full salary. Even better, when I felt too sick to work, or you know, some days, sick of work, I could go to the doctor and have the doctor medically advise me to stay home to rest. The company will even pay for the visit to the doctor and the medicines. This allows me to focus on my recovery without impacting my financial situation. But my favorite benefit is still getting paid while you take a big and long number two in the toilet. Even going to the pantry to get coffee or snacks, you still get paid. Life as a self-employed is a lot harsher. Any day that I'm sick, not only I cannot cook, I also cannot work on my YouTube channel. I'll need to spend more money to buy food to take away and maybe even go to the doctor and pay my own medical bills. Now I can imagine the frustration of falling sick for a long time. It's really a lost day of work while still having to pay for our livelihood. This freedom to choose to work on what I wish to work on definitely comes with a trade-off of stability. My wife and I even had a discussion on whether it's feasible to raise a family with the current arrangement. Honestly, I think it would be very difficult for a family with children to get by with just one stable income. But my YouTube journey is still ongoing, so do subscribe to follow through and see if I manage to upgrade myself.
from a house husband YouTuber to a house husband daddy YouTuber. Let's go! <laughs> anyway, I would say that if you are very risk averse and you prefer stability, I would think that corporate life might be more suitable for you. I've been having a lot of fun making these vlogs. So how about leave me a comment in a video about what other topics that you want me to talk about. Your comment will really help me shape my future videos. That's it for now. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one. I don't mind spending every day